Fit Queens, how y'all doing today? Today is another segment of Sassy Fitness Empowerment Fridays where I will provide you with helpful tips that you can use on your day-to-day -day lives. So, I know y'all see I'm rocking Buccaneers. Yes, I am. I feel like I'm a cook now, so I figured I'd wear like a little apron. So today we're making stuffed peppers. As you can see, I already have my peppers prepped. I cut them, washed them, and just sliced them in half and covered them. I already cooked my rice. And I have my black beans prepared and I diced up some onions. So now I'm gonna bring you into the kitchen with me while I prep the onions and the black beans. And I'm also gonna be using some vegan ground. This is a vegetarian dish, so no meat. So I hope you have fun watching this video just as much as I will have fun preparing this. But this is my first time making this. But it's gonna be fun, so, and I have my taste testers who are gonna come back and uh, let you know what they think. All right, here we go. All right, so now you're actually in the kitchen, and the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grill this on the, um, I said it's meatless ground, so as you can see, it's Morning Star Veggie Meal Starters Griller Crumbles. Absolutely delicious. Nine grams of protein and four grams of fiber. 79% less fat. Go figure. It tastes delicious. So I'm gonna start my, I'm gonna heat up my stove. And um, we're gonna cook, first before we cook this, we're gonna cook the onions. So I've already pre-seasoned them, pre-cut them. I like to prep ahead of time and just put it to the side, you know. Less mess, less time, all that good stuff. So while that's heating up, I'm gonna take the wrap off of this. Okay. And then I'm going to add some of this handy dandy olive oil mm -hmm. to the pan. But before I do that, I'm going to spray the pan just because I don't like things to stick no matter what kind of pan it is. It's always advertised as non-stick, but things still stick. So this is olive oil pan spray. So let's go ahead and spray the pan. So, then I'm going to add my olive oil, just a little, and kind of get it over the pan. It's heating up pretty quickly, which is, which is good. Right. So, I'm going to get me something to mix with over here. A spoon. And rinse it off. Get the onions in there because it's heating up pretty quickly. And another thing I like to add, what I season my onions with is this nature seasoning. I literally use this for everything. In any video you see of me cooking, this is going to be in the recipe. Just so you know. Get you some. It's delicious. So. I also like to add, I love Mrs. Dash, and the original blend is my favorite. As you can see, it's heating up, you can hear it. So I'm gonna sprinkle just a little bit of that on the onions. I'm gonna cook that, just kind of pan sear it. Don't cook it too much, I like a little crunch, just a little bit. I like to sing, so I was humming last time, so you know, y'all might get used to hearing that. So I'm gonna hum. And today's, you know, a great day. Well, every day is a great day for humming. Alright, so. This is exactly how I like my onions to look. They're not too done, they're just right. I'm gonna put them right back on this plate here. Just so when the meat is done, I can add that to it. Okay. And I'm gonna get a little washcloth to get some oil off the side because I don't want that to touch the burner. 
So I'm going to place it back. I'm going to spray it a little bit more with my olive oil spray. Add a little bit more of my olive oil. And just spread it around. And now we're going to cook my veggie meal crumble. It's a savory veggie what it looks like on the inside. Looks like ground meat, don't it? But it's not. <laughs> I'm gonna put that in there. Okay. And I like to add just a tad of water. This is a quarter of a cup. Quarter of a cup. Just add a little bit. All right. I'm gonna mix that around. And one season that I absolutely love is sauce. Check me out. <laughs> yeah. I'm going to put some of that on here. I love putting this on this kind of recipe. And I know y'all already know I'm about to add some of this maple season. <laughs> And Mrs. Dash, can't go wrong. So I just put that. Rounding up rather nicely. And it's amazing. Mm -hmm. Doesn't that look good? I get excited, especially when it's a new recipe I'm making. And it looks that good. Well, like ground beef, don't it? But it's not. For all you plant-based eaters out there. And then I'm gonna do my rice. And then we're gonna put everything together. Inside of our peppers. All right. Fresh pan. Again, olive oil. And olive oil. Now normally, when I do my rice, the rice has already been cooked. But when I do it for a dish like this, I typically like to use a veggie stock or veggie broth or something like that. But since I don't have it right now, I'm just gonna use water. So I've already added the oil. I'm gonna add a little bit of water with my quarter of a cup measuring. All right? Then I'm gonna add basmati rice for those of you who are curious. So add that in there. I don't I'm not big on measuring so no. Sorry. <laughs> but uh, this is I'm gonna put as much as I think will fit in my eight peppers over there. That'll be a good enough amount. I'll put that back to the side. The rice is already seasoned, so I don't really need to add anything else to it. Um, after I get it the way I want it. Now, we're gonna add our black beans to the mix. This is delicious. That looks really good. So now, 
I have my black beans here. I like to use Goya black beans. So I'm just gonna add a little bit of that. And guess what else we're about to add? Our onions. Oh, that's delicious. I'm claiming that it's delicious because it looks delicious and it smells delicious. <laughs> Anyone who loves veggies as much as I do will feel me right now. So now I'm going to add my meatless brown. Mm. Just blend all that deliciousness together. This is going to make for an absolutely delicious meal. Alright, so I'm going to turn off the heat because the stove is still hot and the food is already cooked. So we no need to continue cooking it. And now I'm gonna show you how we're going to stuff our peppers. Stay tuned. All right, so we have our delicious mixture here and we're going to add this to the peppers. So I'm using mozzarella for the topping, but I'm gonna put a little bit in the bottom just because I need to be eating. So just a little bit, so I'm gonna each pepper, I've already, again, I've already washed them and rinsed them out and taken the seeds out and everything. I'm just gonna sprinkle just a little bit in the bottom of the pepper. Oh, and I forgot to mention, this is parchment paper that I had it sitting on. That's what I lined the pan with. Parchment paper. to the side and then I'm going to take each pepper and I'm going to stuff it with my delicious mixture here. Put as much as I can fit in each one. And I've already preheated my oven to 350. Usually I like to cook things on 400 but since this is my first time making this dish, I am going to spare myself and just keep it on 350 because <laughs> I want it to come out just right. So that one stuff. Doesn't that look amazing? Oh my goodness, goodness. And whatever doesn't fit inside the pepper, guess what? Still leave it on the side. is a big deal for me. Especially being a picky eater. If I walk by something and it doesn't look edible, I'm not touching it. So presentation is huge for me. That there. This is a full pepper, the other ones are half. But you're not know, having to make a full pepper for the man of the house, you know what I'm saying? Gotta make a big one for him. So let's make sure we stuff that one nice. Gotta make that nice and cool. Black beans is like the bomb. Like anything that I make with rice or something, I just, I love black beans. They're like the bomb. 
one more pepper to go. I'm kind of like leaning them up against each other so they don't fall. My feelings will be so hurt if they fall and they don't be pretty when it's done. I know y'all anxious to see what my taste test is gonna think. I am too. This is absolutely awesome. All right, so we have a little bit of uh, mixture left and that's okay because I'm sure someone will eat that. All right, so now that we got everything stuffed, I'm going to put some mozzarella cheese on the top. So let's do it. And if it falls, that's fine because it's on the parchment paper. I'm excited. I've been wanting to make this dish for a while. <laughs> so, like, yes. That looks amazing. And so I always like to garnish. Ooh, that one looks a little scary. Let me put that one on there. I don't want Mr. Man like, why you ain't put no cheese on mine? <laughs> All right, I think I'll make him happy with that. Okay, so now that I love garnishing my food because again, presentation is everything for me. So the first thing I'm gonna do is use some parsley flakes. I'm just gonna sprinkle some on the top just to make it pretty. Parsley doesn't really have a taste to it, at least not to me. It does smell good. It smells good, but when I eat it, I don't taste anything. But it makes dishes look so pretty and like, awesome. And then, I absolutely love cayenne pepper. Now with this, I have to be careful because it doesn't have like three, the little holes in the top. So I'm gonna have to pour some in my hand because last thing I wanna do is make something too spicy when I'm only trying to use it for decoration and just a little spice. So I'm just gonna take some out of my hand and just kind of sprinkle on top. And if someone wants to add more to theirs, they can do it. At least I won't have to hear, mommy, that's hot. Mommy, that's too spicy. You put too much pepper on it. So there we go. And I'll put the excess on the side. Woo. Now we're going to put them in the oven. So, come on back in the kitchen so you can see me put it in the oven. All right, so the oven is already preheated. So I'm gonna take the peppers, I'm gonna open the oven first. And then I'm gonna take the peppers. And I like to cook on the top rack. I always say that um, hot, or heat rises. I was gonna say hot heat. <laughs> heat rises, so I like to put it on the top. I'm just gonna put it inside very delicately because I don't want them to fall and then my feelings be hurt. So, close that. And then I'm gonna set a timer for 20 minutes because I like to multitask and I don't wanna forget that I'm cooking. So yeah, so I'm gonna set the timer. 20 minutes. And we'll come back and see what they look like. All right, so after 20 minutes, this is what my pan looks like. I'm not gonna burn myself because I just took it out the oven. <laughs> but I'm gonna sprinkle a little bit of the nature seasoning just over it so that the peppers can have a little of this deliciousness. So I'm just gonna sprinkle just a tad, like so. And I have my two taste testers here. We have a, a new special guest. You met this little guy, so we have my stepdaughter. What's your name? Alicia. And you all know Zach Attack by now, right? My goofball. <laughs> all right, so we're gonna taste. Let me give y'all one. Let's see this Ooh, it's nice and juicy. Yours. And they're gonna give their honest opinion. I got two people who I know are gonna be I honest. And then I'm gonna get me one. I should probably get this one that don't wanna stand up. Let's see. There we go. All right. Y'all ready to dig in? All right, let's see. It's good. 
I got one, one good one. It's too hot. <laughs> it's too hot. Yes. It wasn't as hard to eat as them cauliflowers. The cauliflower was real hot. You need help? Let me help you out. So let's cut down like this. Oh. Look at that. There you go. Oh, that's the hot one. That's the <clears throat> All right. Let's see. <laughs> okay. You got the cheese, but look. <laughs> Jip. Another mm. first recipe. Oh, he over here making a big mess, but I guess that means it's good, huh? Not too salty, just right. Not too hot. Mm, it's good. On the scale of one to ten. Okay. Oh, but I can. Oh, I get a ten. It's good. All right. And I don't, don't even like. It. He don't need to eat nothing, bro. He likes the stuff, mm. mm. So we gonna let y'all go. While we enjoy, you know, finish enjoying eating this deliciousness. I'll see you. But I hope y'all enjoy watching as much as we enjoy making this. And until next time, Chiquita Nicole Sassy Fit is out.